breaking news, end of certificate talk as Chicago University finally releases photo book yet Tinubu featured. You know, when you go to NYC, that's the only thing I know they do it in Nigeria, where you take a picture and every one of you that participated in NYC that year, you see the photo of everybody. I still have mine, you know, everybody that you all had NYC together, their pictures are all, you know, in one place. Yes. And so Tinubu, there's been this talk that if, you know, asking if he attended the Chicago State University or he did not. Apparently, the university again and again has said Tinubu did attend it. However, some people have refused to accept that that is true. Finally, the university speaks, releases the full photo, you know, of students, you know, just like they would do in the UK, in the US and most nations of the world. Every class, every, you know, every term, apart from the pandemic, they will have a photo book where all the class students participated. And the photo book is to keep record. And so the photo book of where Tunubu participated has come out. Let's get all the details. A black and white photo book dug out from the archive of the Chicago State University has surfaced on social media. The photo book comprises of image of graduating students of an unknown, unnamed year with names like Samuel Salton, Janet Thomas, Patrick Thomas, Julian Southern, and many others. However, the interesting part of the photo book is the image of the APC presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bolatinubu, who resulted, who, feature, who featured in the book, the, cons the conspiracy surrounding the missing certificate of the presidential candidate of the Reno Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has been laid to rest. Earlier today, June the 4th, a photo of the Chicago State University surfaced online. And Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, if you look very well, you will see him. Okay? From the down, he's the second on your left, depending on how you're looking at this. Okay? That's the book has surfaced. The photo book and a black and white uh, vintage Appearance appeared on the image of the graduating student about Ashwajo Medbola Tinubu appeared on the photo book. Recall that a lot of persons has been accusing Tinubu of not attending the school. Following this, Farouk, a United States-based Nigerian lecturer, said he reached out to the Chicago State University to help him verify if Tinubu was a graduate of the school. The colleagues, after verifying the the registrar office shared the university response in light of the renowned 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 doubt about tinubu's qualification i i again reached out to the colleagues of mine at the chicago state university to help me verify if tinubu graduated from the school she told me that he did not he did but she's but she did go after the registrar's office she shared this with me and wrote, um, who he wrote to Campbell Westburn, who is in charge of the Office of Record and Registration of the Chicago State University, confirmed that Tinubu attended the school and he emailed this to, I mean, to Farouk on the 27th of June. He also confirmed that Tinubu was awarded a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with honors. So this is some of the things that have happened. Why the doubts continue to rise if Tinubu did really attended the school or not. A uh, result has come out to show that indeed oh, he attended the school. He is a graduate of the very university and the questions surrounding whether Tinubu was a student of that school or not, you know, uh, you know, has continued to become a real deal. And a lot of persons and people are wondering what next and what else. So these are some of the things happening and why Nigerians, we must all continue, okay? We must all continue to speak, you know, and ensure, okay? And ensure that the truth is done. So my wonderful people, uh, uh, things are becoming a real deal and uh, there is need for us all to rise up and to ensure that, you know, we get what is absolutely right and necessary. That is the right persons to become our leaders, okay? Uh, Tinubu did go to school and the Chicago uh, University has affirmed and has confirmed to that, that indeed Tinubu 
you know, he did really attended uh, st the state university. Tinubu did really uh, attended it. Okay, so why those things are becoming, you know, why those things are becoming the real point of call? Everybody is right now uh, looking forward to how things can dramatically change because for a long time now, we've had a lot of people who do not have the interest of this nation at heart. Sadly, these have been the people who have been, okay, who have been uh, leading Nigeria for some time now. And if there's anything called change that we should all go by, the change must begin, not just with um, the nation. It starts with you and I. One of such change is collecting money for vote. We must come off, we must come off that tangent. We must not allow it to stand. Okay. Sadly, it happened in a Kitty State election. That's why I'm hammering on it. None of us, none of us must allow politicians to use us, collect, uh, collect, uh, uh, give us money. Okay. And, you know, go give us money and then uh, say we should come and vote for them. We should not allow any of such. You and I should not allow it. Okay, we must not allow it. We must ensure that the truth is being, you know, the truth is being let out and every one of us do what is absolutely right and necessary to ensure that there is, you know, there is change in the nation because what we are currently experiencing is devastation of, you know, yesteryears. Okay, right from when Nigeria even came in 1999, Olusha Gobasanjo should have set the country on the right path. But again, corruption and a lot of other things followed and this does not quite make us you know do what is absolutely right and necessary and today we are still wallowing in that space of despair as a nation and so if change is really going to come we're going to have a lot of difference then we must ensure that you know we work at it and we do not allow okay individuals who have no no heart for this nation to become the reason why you know things are happening the way they are we must change that now we are at a crossroad where change must come so it is what it is, okay? And one of the ways we can affect that change is that we must vote. We must vote. Please don't forget, um, you and I have a duty and an opportunity for things to change now. We've got that opportunity, okay? We must, we must vote now. We must. We must do what is absolutely right. We must do what is absolutely right and vote. Please don't forget, give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. Let's vote and let's vote well to ensure that difference, you know, is made in Nigeria and we get the best at the end of the day. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.